All right, and let's get Scott in as well. Let's get Scott in because it's important for everybody. Oh, it's all gone quiet. He's going to be really serious. Oh, he's going to tell us off. All right. Hello, Scott. The game, v no football today then. All right. Hello. Yeah. So we know what the no press has been like the, the, the past week. And I wasn't looking for anything. I was just on, on a, a social media and this video came up. And I thought, what's this all about? And it showed you, uh, it was an Eastern European one, but I did a bit more research. And it comes from Canada. And it's some ladies started it in Canada a couple of years ago when there was a problem with abductions and things like that. And, and it's a signal uh, for people to give somebody if they're being abducted, if they're being pressurized. It could be a kid being led away by an adult. It could be a woman who's being followed by somebody looking for a safe place. And speaking to Wayne yesterday as well, so I'll check it all out so it, 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 it was all kosher, okay? Uh, the NHS are rolling this out and they're putting it out to uh, pharmacies. Pharmacists have certainly got it. G, GPs, um, a little bit slow, but there's, there's so much to do for NHS in the, the past year and things like that. So really it's forums like this to get it out there and tell people your friends and children. All it is, if you are, if someone looks at you and they put the hand like that, put the thumb over and fold the hand down, it means they need help. Okay. I've got a couple of links which I will send out. Now, I never sent them out yesterday until I had a chat because this is the biggest class. So the thumb goes to there, it falls over. They're saying, I need help. No matter if they look like with their mum or their dad, or it's a woman with a, a guy or another girl or, or man them or whatever. They look at this saying, oh, there's something not right. I need some help. Could, you could just be being followed. And the signal is there and it's discreet so that you can give it any position you want to and the, you're not raising the alarm of the other person. I wish it had been something like that when I was a paramedic because some of the things that, that I came across help people out. All right, I'll send the links out. Now then, on that one, it's not an excuse for any of you doing a tense session to start waving at somebody and doing that. Turn the internet off, he's killing me, all right? You're not to use it for that if it's going to be a serious one, all right? So good stuff, guys. That's the signal. I'll send it. I'll send it. I've got two links I'll put out to you, and then you can take it from there. We'll tell people, uh, the kids and everything, everybody should know about it. But I think it's a good scheme. All right. Going to mute you down now. There we go, because I didn't do that, didn't do that. So it's all requests. Start that. Start this. We've got the recording on. Come backwards. Adjust this. We'll be sitting down a bit later, because some of them we need to do with that. All right. So Marie sat down. She's going to do... You just... Stretches you and do, Marie. You take it from where you, you can do, OK? Wiggling and a bum on the seat and all that sort of stuff. First off, guys, it's Saturday morning. Let's do a little bit of a del boy left and right with those feet. Just get them... Feet just widen there, hips. It's a double boys welcome. Take the hands up and out, palms towards me. Curve the hands to the rear and lean back, semi banana shape, about 45 degrees, and hold that there. Just hold that position. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Arc the hands nicely down, come back upright, hold the thumb and rotate the shoulders to the front. Nice and slowly, it's the one and only sat this stretch and then to the rear. It's absolutely bucking it down outside and it hasn't stopped. So get your net in. So once you rotate your shoulders, guys, we're going to get some breathing done. We're going to get the system supercharged and chill us right down. We know how full we can get, get these lungs full of air. Okay, so follow me along. Take the hands up and out. Reach for the walls. 15 out of 10, turn the hands up. Roll the thumbs to the rear. Imagine your fruit balls in the hands. Keep rolling those thumbs to the rear. We want to feel that stretch right up in the forearms, the chest, get the pecs working. We're holding it a bit longer to make sure to fire up. Big deep breath in. Exhale down to the heart. Elbows high, straight off. Three second isometric pushing, go. Two, three, hook those hands over. Pull it apart, go. Two, three. So we're going to get those muscles all fired up. Spider legs, we've got press ups on a mirror, fingertips to the side. Looking up 45 degrees, good posture. Five second push into your side of your legs. Go. Three, two, one. Relax that down. Give the hands a nice gentle shake out. Hands back up and out. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down, elbows nice and low. Good, I'm gonna hold that there. 
Good. Good. And hold it there, guys. Good stuff. Right, squish them back out. We're going to hold the hands at the top on the exhalation. Roll the hands all ready again. Take the thumbs to the rear. Bet it's relaxed down already. Big breath. Keep the hands together as we exhale. Good. On the next inhalation, push those fingertips up to the ceiling and try and touch the sky, guys. Breathe in. Exhale. And keep the hands there nice and long. Let the stretch take place. The body is still stretching out. On the next inhalation, we're going to try and touch the ceiling again, but keep the arms long. We're going to get them longer. Breathe in. Oh, and I've done that one. Good stuff. Going to exhale and bring the hands all the way down. Nice big arc. That feels really good stuff, guys. Okay. Take the hands to the side. Knees just off lock. Good posture. 30%. Look, take the hands now, stand in position behind the back. You're going to feel that chest coming upwards. We're going to do some breathing exercises and we're going to hold and build those seconds up. Okay. First off, blow out and empty those lungs out before we breathe in. Blow out. <sighs> breathe in. <sighs> hold. Three, two, one. Exhale. <sighs> nice and relaxed. Good. So we're going to blow out, empty. You can't talk into the lungs out, by the way. You've still got about one and a half litres still in there, your tidal volume. We're going to blow out, bring the diaphragm up. We're going to hold for five seconds next time. Blow out. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Good. Eight seconds, blow out. <sighs> Inhale. Seven. Five. Three. One. Exhale. Last one is ten. We're not building up to two minutes. This is the last one. Blow out. <sighs> Inhale. Hold it there, watching the clock. Three, two, one, exhale. Good stuff, guys, okay. Bring the hands up, get a measure, bring the feet out, semi sumo below the elbows, all right? Hands to the side, little teapot handle first. Inhale. Exhale, and any side you want to, it doesn't matter. Just curve it under, fingertips under the armpit. As we exhale and get lateral thoracic breathing going, let that stretch go down the side. Good. We're only covering one of our requests. Just for every exercise, there's something from you. Good. Lateral thoracic breathing. Take the hand under the teapot, handle nice and long. Try and touch the ceiling now. Reach it straight up, push it up. You want to feel a bit of a stretch in your hip. Curve the hand over, chest facing one another, not bending over. Inhale. Exhale. Over we go a little bit more. As you exhale, just let it gently, don't force it, gently over, keep it at 15. Don't take it higher than that. That's a thoracic breathing. Okay, bring that hand back up and point towards the ceiling. There's a bit of a Freddie Mercury thing going on here, isn't there? Just keep the hand nice and tall. There. Inhale. Exhale, and over we go. Again, same side. There. Got a bit of a cross with the yoga and a stretch thing going on. Is that long arm going a bit further down the side of the body? That's your thoracic breathing. Bring that hand back up. Hold it there. On the inhalation, we're pushing this long arm towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, curve it down to your side. All the way down. Nice long arc. And right now, this side of your body is going to feel totally different to that side. Let's even that off. Other side then. Teapot handle first. Breathe in. Exhale. There. Fingertips on the armpit. Down we go. And for the links I'll send you later on, guys, thanks to Annabelle and Wayne for those that sent me. So I'll get that when I remember. Good. 
has taken effect. I love this feel in the side of the ribs when we inhale on this one, guys. Really gets the chest inflated. Take the hand from the teapot handle, nice and tall. Hold. Inhale. Exhale, curve it over. When you curve the hand over, the body starts releasing, and we go over. Take it to 15. Never, ever think, oh, great, I can do more than 15. I can get it way down. Inhale. Exhale. Do we get a little bit more movement there? Looking fantastic. Lots of thoracic breathing. Undo that arc nice and slowly. Guys, bring it up. Hold that position there. We breathe in. Exhale and over again. Remember, those breathing exercises we can do anywhere, anytime, except when you're asleep. And one of the best exercises that we can do, and it's free. Lasso thoracic breathing and slowly unwind it, guys. Little Freddie Mercury, hand up in the air. Inhale, we're going to push it upwards. Here we go. Like it. Exhale, arc that hand all the way down. Good. To the thumbs, rotate to the front and then to the rear. And if you're like me, you've just got a big tingly feeling down the spine. That's all the oxygen whizzing around the body and the spinal cord nervous system got working. And we're getting into the top of our hip area already, guys, okay? We're squishing those feet in, back to a normal stance. Here we go. Imaginary string through the ears. It's a big, deep breath in. Any side you want, exhale and let the head control the head. Remember, as you take it over, the breathing out, the lateral thoracic breathing. This way you might realize, oh, God, I've got to go and change those pillows. I've been saying it for a year. Okay, big deep breath in. Exhale and move the head over. Not gravity today. Move it over yourself a little bit at a time. Over we go. When we breathe in now, you know what it's like to have a chest full of air. So when you breathe in, even if I'm breathing out and you're breathing in, keep it going, guys. One more time here, breathe in. Exhale, over we go. Moving it over and it's gone way over. Something to be said about supercharging our body with lovely, fresh oxygen, guys. I know you guys in London might struggle sometimes, but if it's at this time of year, you should be okay. Bring the head back upwards. And still, we breathe in. Exhale, take it all the other way. For those of you who don't know, the, I have, the only Nordic walking courses or classes I've ever cancelled has been thunder and lightning for obvious reasons. And in London, three times for the pollution being so bad, I wouldn't do any outdoor exercise. Breathe in. Exhale and the head going over again, gently pushing it over. And that we want these stretches to feel really good because you, you can feel them releasing, you can feel them working, you can feel the effect of your exercise. With general fitness, you get the effect of your exercise months, sometimes weeks later, when you come to cover a distance or do something that when you first start and you achieve your target. But stretching, it's an instant thing. Breathe in. Exhale. Well, it is in our cases because you've been doing this for a long time, guys, and the body's used to it. We've got muscle memory in, and that feels really good. I'm going to bring the head back upwards, nice and slow. I better open my eyes and make sure you're all there. Good stuff. Okay, taking the hands to our back. Slide the hands down the back now until you feel your chest coming upwards. And that's putting the spine to a nice S-shaped position. Hold the hands where they are nice and comfortable. So you shouldn't be pushing down too much, but you felt your chest come upwards, the waistline coming in, so we like that one. We're going to drop the chin to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, and the chin comes down to the chest. So that way, we are switching off the rest of the body by actually activating it by pushing the hands down the back gently. Inhale again. Exhale. Just let the head, the heaviest part of the body, I know what you're thinking, well, yours may be tough because it's just solid wood, but that's, that's all right. <laughs> all right, keep the chin in the chest. Slow turn the head to your left or right. Again, that feels really good. Let the head come back down again. Increase the circulation to and from the gray matter. 
Take your back bend the other way, guys, to keep the chin as close to the chest as you can. And then back down towards the floor. Good. On the inhalation, we're gonna push the hands down the back, let the head relax. Breathe in. Exhale, keep the hands sliding down the back and lateral thoracic breathing. Two, one, bring the head upwards. Keep the hands where they are, don't push them down, just let them relax and pick a point on the ceiling. Your chin's coming straight back. You wanna get so far back that somebody comes in and puts a nice cool glass of water on your forehead and it doesn't fall off. Once you've got there, push that lower jaw forwards. Good. Makes your voice go funny. That's a thoracic breathing, but push the hands down the back again. And that will increase everything. Two, one, relax, bring that back up straight towards me, reset. Take the hands up and out, palms towards me. Bring the feet out, level with the elbows. And we're going to banana shape it back, guys. Breathe in. Exhale and just curve it back. That curve starts at the ankles and it works right through the body. Let gravity take over and let your scapulas come together. That's a thoracic breather, just relax. The arms will tend to want to come down to the side. Let that happen. Just let them relax and find their own position, but gently just bring those scapulas together. Squeeze that imaginary A4 paper. When we exhale, we're gonna come up fairly quick and bring those hands together in front of us to a prayer position. Breathe in. Exhale, come up and there. Good, liking that one. Switch off the rest of the body from the shoulders only. We're gonna push forward with those hands and touch each other's noses. Breathe in. Exhale, push those arms forward. You wanna feel those shoulders rounding off. You might feel your mid back slightly go to the rear. There. I want to feel your abs engaging down into your pelvic floor area. Two, one, relax, bring those hands nicely back down, guys. Hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders back two or three, and then forwards two or three. Keep the feet in this position, hands to here. This is a request, but he didn't know he requested it because I didn't know he was getting here for about 10 to. Okay. Taking it down from the mid back through the hamstrings, guys. Modified bicycle chain, breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest and slide those hands down the center of the legs, not towards the floor and we do the dangle the arms one. Now the knees are gonna to wanna to bend a little bit because the feet are opened out, that's okay. I'm sliding my middle fingers to the, in front of the big toes on the floor. The middle finger tip is pushing into the floor gently. Lateral thoracic breathing, just hold that position. Keep everything about a 15, breathe in. Exhale, thin cat stretch. Push the back up. Now in this position, when you push the back up, the knees are automatically going to want to straighten up as well. That's good. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Look directly behind you. There. And push a bit more with those fingers. We're taking that down there to the lower back, L1 to L5, pelvic floor area, and into our hips. So two and one for a reset. Breathe in. Exhale, and we slowly come back up. Nice, and slowly, and think posture all the way. Picture that bicycle chain coming out the bucket of lovely clean oil, elbows slightly to the rear. Then hold that position there, bringing the head up 45 degrees and looking fantastic, and feeling fantastic, good stuff. Okay, we're gonna bring those feet out. We're rolling straight into this one, guys, not breaking it down. So. Point the foot, that way you know what's coming next. This long leg is gonna find its own position. Take the hand up to here. Good, breathe in. Follow me along. Arc the hand over, roll the chest straight over, reach forward, long leg to the instep, not breaking this one down and we're into our maximum. Lean and push forwards, let the hips go down. Look how powerful that is. Good, breathe in. Exhale and come back to a recover, nice and slowly. Just bring the arm up back to a wide foot fresh mercury, if you like, holding it there. Push up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale and roll it over. There. 
field's going on. All the body muscles are stretching, reaching out. They're all working together now. All the different attachments. All we go. You see, we're doing a big isometrics like we did yesterday, and this is a fantastic stretch to do at any time. All the work after this week. Inhale. And we bring it back. So we're turning one of our own classic stretches into a bit of a yoga move. Push up towards the ceiling. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, and I'm taking it longer each time. That's a longer arc this time. I'm reaching forwards even more with a pointy finger. There. Stretch right down the side. This is for a recovery, breathe in. Exhale, and up we come. There. And then arc it nicely down, guys, and squish those feet in. And again, this side of your body, where you just stretched out, is going to feel totally different to the side. Now, winter's coming in. A lot of other different COVID variants are whizzing around, like your normal colds and things like that. Yeah. Your big, deep breathing exercises in the fresh air, guys, is going to help you and keep those lungs nice and healthy. So remember to keep that one going. Bring the feet back out there. You can tell it's autumn. I've got the warm patches on the carpet already. Okay, here we go. Turn the foot that way. Picking my spot on the wall already where I'm going to try and reach. Bring this hand upwards. Good. Big deep breath. Exhale. Curve it over. Roll the chest. That long leg's going to find its own length as it slides out. Comes to the instep and I'm reaching forwards. There. 15. Good. Inhale. Exhale and bring it back up. So some of the stuff we do and we... We break it down, don't we? Push the arm upwards. And every soft when we put them all together and roll it round, feels really good, doesn't it? That's a sense of achievement. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, oh, we go, roll that chest, reaching forwards, hips coming downwards, long leg on the instep. I'm getting a bit further forwards this time. Lambs and muscles being stretched out in the body. Good, breathe in. Exhale, up we come. There. Reach up towards the ceiling again, pushing up. Big deep breath. Exhale, roll it over. Doesn't the waistline come in first thing in the morning? Good. Really reaching forwards now, working that one, keeping it at the 15. This third one would have been about a 22, 23, about to push it this far out, first movement. Reset, breathe in. Exhale, up we come. There. Good, and arc it all the way down, guys. Straighten up your foot, and then squish those feet in, rolling the heel to toe, and give it a nice shake out. That's feeling really good. Okay, this one we're gonna break down, okay? Working out through, we've covered so many already, joining everything together, joining the dots. Do a bit of a del boy left and right, get the feet set up. Look where your right foot is. Put the heel where that toe is, pause, Bring the feet into railway lines on this one, nice and straight. Hands to the hips and roll those hips around that this lead hip, okay? Front hip rolling it around, there. Hamstrings are fantastic. This is one of the best ones for this area of the body. Why don't people do it? Because you've got to stick your bum out. People don't like sticking their bum out. Don't know why. Take it back around the other way, guys. There. Round we go, there. Round we go. One more. And hold. Look where your toys. Step forward one more. Step forward two. Two circles one way, two back the other. Round we go. There. So you might think we're doing some, we don't do, we normally do more, but we're breaking it down. We're going to go to four, taking it back around the other way. Nice big circles. Your other hip is going to follow. Good for digestive system as well. That's me done two either way. Look where your toys. Step forward again. So the foot's coming up nice and straight. Nice railway lines, hands to the hips, and round we go. And don't worry about leaning forwards. But when your hip comes to the front, you'll be leaning back as well. It's a nice big circle, okay? There's my two done. I'm taking it back round this way. If you're a bit behind me, guys, it doesn't matter. Don't stop it if you're going a little bit slower. In fact, those of you who've requested some of these areas, go a bit slower and catch up as you go along. Look where your toys, step forward another one. So it's a little bit, whoop. Can't do that delicately, can we? And round we go. There. There's my two. So each little step, take it back the other way, you can feel the difference. This long one really got the belly of the hamstring going, hasn't it? 
Okay, that's that side done. Look where the foot is, bring it back and shake it out. And again, one side of the body is going to feel totally different to the other. So, got the feet set up, look where the toe is. I'm stepping forward one this side, hands to the hips. And we'll do a few for the first one. Take it around. I'll do three. Let's do three first one. Here we go. That's three one way, three the other. Really working it. And just feel what's happening behind the knee into the hip and how it changes. Pause. Look where the toe is. Step forward again. Feet nice and straight in the railway tracks. And round we go. There. And by our stepping forward, we're all getting the same percentage, working the muscles exactly the same, and it keeps you in control. That's two that way. I'm taking it back the other way. Just starting to feel the length of that hamstring starting to go on this one. The next one, it will. That's my two, looking down to the toe and stepping forwards again. Ready, two, round we go. There, and there, two, and back the other way. There, rotating round, good. Last one, looking where the toe is, stepping forwards, got my balance, nice straight feet, and listen, we've got to work it, guys. Round we go. Taking that around. Your hips are, look how your hips are rotating around because we're stepping outwards. Take it back the other way. But lower spine is loving it. It's difficult to do a circle, I know, but it's work it. That's that one done. I'm going to bring the foot back and then shake those feet out. Get a bit of whiplash on the ankles. A little bit of whiplash there. Good. Next one is my favourite, favourite, favourite. Calf stretch. So I've turned sideways. Okay, we did this in the week. I think it was at work catches. I can't remember. Anyway. Normal stance, you're stepping forward one length of your foot. So one step forwards, the heel is level with the other toe. I've got string out of all your kneecaps, I'm going to pull it forward. Hands to the hips, look up 45 degrees and come to that position there. Stick the butt out. You've got to stick the butt out, guys. Be relaxed. There. Until you feel a stretch in the lower part, L1 to L5, and hold that there. Good. Feet flat on the floor. Now move the knees forwards, but keep the heels on the floor. And it's the back calf, you're going to feel a big stretch. And those of you who did it in the week with me may not feel the same effect. You're still stretching out those muscles. Hold, breathe in, exhale, and then slowly stand back up again. Keep the feet where they are. Again, we're turning one of our classic stretches into a yoga position. Good posture all the way through. Okay, lower it back down. Keep the feet nice and flat. Stick the butt out to the rear. Now push those knees forwards. Keep the heels flat. Not even at eight. Well, I, my heel was only a quarter inch off the floor. It's got to stay flat, guys. You're going to feel the lower part, the back leg, your tibialis anterior, the bottom part of your shin, working really hard. Breathe in. Exhale and slowly stand back up and give that a nice shake out. Good. Other side then, stepping forward. One little step. Feet nice and straight like railway lines. Hands to the hips. I get the right foot. I turned sideways and did the wrong foot. Did you notice? Okay, here we go. Heels flat. Dip the butt down. So it's like pushing the bum down, but keep looking upwards. It's a bit like a curtsy. I've never curtsied to the queen. I don't know. Big deep breath in. Push those knees forwards. Push the knees forwards, guys. That's it. Keep the heels flat. Working them super hard. Slowly standing back upwards. So with these muscle trains, we're joining together right down the body. Looking good. Here we go. Take it down again. Stick the butt out. I've picked a, the light on the wall, actually. I keep looking at that. It's just the right angle in this position I'm in now. Pulling that string forwards from your kneecaps. You pull it from mine through your screen. Slide the knees forward. Don't let the heels rise off the floor. Big deep breath in and exhale and slowly rise from that. You've also done that one across the knee muscle stability and there's a little bit of isometrics there for the knee joint as well. Good stuff. Okay, tabletop. Let me adjust the camera. Okay, good. Well, some of these, Marie, will just bit slide the legs out and put them on the heels, okay? All right, here we go. So there, breathe in. Exhale. 
you know what, I suck so much air in, and I'm sure those curtains move behind me. Sliding the fingers down the front of the body. It's nice and slow. We're going to Pilates now. Slowly coming outwards. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling my knees are so, the other clunks there. My knees are so relaxed. Okay, good tabletop, top of the feet. Let's do a cat stretch before we go on. Breathe in. Exhale, push that back upwards. How good does that feel? Let the hips come forwards, take the chin to the chest. And then lateral thoracic breathing. If I ever forget to say lateral thoracic breathing, please start breathing. Okay, good. Keep pushing upwards. Breathe in. Exhale, relax that down. Good. Stick the butt out to the rear. Imaginary saucer full of cold water, swallow the back, and just hold that pose there for two and a one. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really, really light. Good. Two and a one. Okay, guys, come into a sitting position. We're going to put the legs to an L shape. You know, the Isle of Man legs. So it's that, that's the position there, okay? My left leg is the side of the knee. That foot's there, and I want to hold it. Now, you're going to feel like you're going to, you're going to tumble over to one side. Keep the spine nice and straight. Take the hands up and out. We're not going to be here for a long time. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down, working through the hip area now. Exhale down, elbows nice and low. Good, and all of a sudden, your body stops wanting to go over to one side. Feel that, squish the hands outwards. One more time, turn the hands up, breathe in. Then exhale down, there. And we can hold that nice straight line. That's muscle memory and that's core strength. Two, and a one. Let's squish those legs over the other way. So leaning back. And nice and slowly in these movements, just taking the legs out, back to that L shape again. I took my hand off the floor, you feel like you're gonna tip over one side. Let's get that corrected. Take the hands up and out. Hold, breathe in. And exhale down. There you go, magic trick, isn't it? All of a sudden, not leaning over. One more time, squish it out. Turn them up, breathe in. And exhale down. Good. Two and a one. Fantastic, guys. Going to put my right leg straight. And I'm going to put the left leg to the side, that position there. Okay. One straight, one's bent to the rear. Pull the toe towards the shin. Bring the hands onto the kneecap. Breathe in. Exhale and just slide forwards a little bit. Hold. That's all, just a little tad, and bring it back. Swap the legs over, one leg straight, other one out to the side. Hold that position there, hands to the thigh, onto the knee. We're only sliding down halfway down the shin. It's hardly anything at all. Breathe in, exhale, slide, hold, that's enough. Release, bring it back, fantastic. And from there, I'm gonna bring it up, onto my haunches to there, guys, okay? Good stuff. Right, without using the hands, bring your knees out to the side, to there. So without using the hands, you should have quite a comfortable position, but again, your feel doesn't feel quite right, does it? Let's get that sorted out. Take the hands up and out, turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart and hold. And all of a sudden, the bum sinks down onto the heels and you feel the body relaxing. Squish the hands out. Rotate round to your left or right, any side you want to. Get to your 15. Unwind, bring it back round towards me. Back round the other way, bringing some yoga back into it again. And back round towards me. Looking good. Bringing the hands together, prayer position. Good arcs all the time. Lock the thumbs. Bring the hands down to the floor and walk it out to a child's pose. Let the knees roll forward, forearms to the floor, forehead to the floor. When we exhale, allow those hips to roll to the rear. Breathe in. Exhale. And give the forearms a gentle push so you're leaning backwards. Feel those hips rolling, the big ball socket joint. 
in the neck of the femur, rolling backwards, a two and a one. Breathe in, exhale, and come back up, sitting on our haunches facing one another, opening the hips up. I know it can feel a bit uncomfortable. We're going to use the hands now and slide those knees out a little bit more. So gently push them out. There. A bit more movement. Hold that position there. Hands up and out. Turn them up. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. That relaxes us down. Walk the fingers out across your mat or carpet. Forearms to the floor. This is really open up the pelvic floor, you guys. The pelvis is loving this one. Big deep breath in. Exhale, and this time definitely use the forearms and gently push your hips to the rear. So you feel that roll going on. A two and one, breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands up and then bring those knees together. And you're gonna feel really loose in the hip area with opening that one up, okay? So knees together that position now. Take the hands up and out. We're almost done with this. Rotate round any side you want to. Undo back round towards me and back round the other way. And then back round towards me. And we're going to arc those down. And we're going to sit down on our bone now, okay? There. Now, when we finish this session, for a few hours, you may feel around the hip area. But you, you might feel the session. That's your nervous system because we've been activating it. Oh, that's why the breathing down the spinal column because the request that I had. But when we finish today, you've got a little bit new muscular technique going on where we, it's a treatment that, that's down activating the nervous system, which is what we want, guys. I'm bringing those feet out about that position there. I'm drawing the heels upwards so the knees are off the floor. But now think sitting tall. Imagine you're straight at the chest. Feel those abs come in. And sit nice and proud, okay? Good. Just relax wherever your hands want to be. Big deep breath in, go. Exhale. Good. We're going to hold this next one straight away for 10 seconds. Sit nice and relaxed. Focus. Blow out. Breathe in. Eight, six, four, two, exhale. Squish the hands out, guys. Looking good. Turn the hands up. Bring them over the head. Lapse of thoracic breathing. On the inhalation, push up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Down to here. Crucifix T-shape. Rotate round again.